Hey everybody, what is up? Benji Pistone here, representing Canada. How are you this afternoon? How are you today? So anyways, here's another video I'm going to hit you guys off with. Um, another thing I want to do is I want to show off to you guys my, um, my Blu-ray, my Blu-ray collection. Now, to be honest with you, I don't have very many Blu-rays. Like I, ha I have a few, but I don't have, I don't have a lot. You know what I mean? Because of the fact that I just recently got into the Blu-ray, the Blu-ray game. I actually just bought uh, my first Blu-ray player just a, just about a couple of years ago, and um, and I actually have more DVDs than Blu-rays. You know what I mean? But um, but you know what? As as far as when it comes to the the format of DVD and Blu-ray is concerned, you know what? I think the two of them are 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 in the same league. You know what I mean? Um, like like I said, I have like tons of DVDs, and I actually have absolutely no intention of um of replacing them of turning them to to blu-rays you know what i'm saying so um so yeah so like so like i said um my blu-ray collection all right and um these are in no particular order i'm just going to shoot them off and these are actually some of my favorite movies that i own on blu-ray all right let's start off with this one over here and this here i got this blu-ray over here and this is friday Starring Ice Cube and Chris Tucker. This actually is one of my favorite stoner movies of all time. This movie is absolutely awesome. Ice Cube and Chris Tucker. You know, if you've never seen this movie, you got to check out this movie. It is absolutely hilarious. One of my favorites. The Slam and Salmon. Okay. If you're not familiar with this movie, this this movie stars the 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 dudes of Broken Lizard, and who Broken Lizard is is that is a bunch of these actors, and these are the guys who who made those who made the movies Beer Fest and Super Troopers. Super these two movies also being two of my favorites, and this movie over here is just absolutely funny. Um, in this movie, they, um, this movie takes place in a restaurant, and all of them play, like, um, these, these waiters that work at these, re at this restaurant, and, um, it takes place in, um, in, in, uh, during a, a work day at the restaurant, and um and the owner of the, and the owner of the restaurant actually his last name is his last name is Salmon Cleon Salmon what what he is that he got into a little bit of a debt and what he wants to do is that he needs to raise $10,000 to pay this debt off and if he does not raise his $10,000 the the debt holders are going to take his restaurant. This is a funny movie. This is actually an underrated movie. You know what I mean? But this is one of my favorites as well. And these are also another two of my favorites as well. And it's actually it's two movies on one Blu-ray. And it is and it is Shaun of the Dead and Hot Fuzz. These two movies I love. You know, if you know if you know Shaun of the Dead, it's it stars the same two guys, which is Simon Pegg and Nick Frost. You know, in Hot Fuzz, they play like these two these uh, these two cops from England, and uh, in Shaun of the Dead, the two of them play like these two roommates who um who in Shaun of the Dead, all of a sudden the apocalypse starts and everyone is starting to turn into zombies. And hit and them too, including a few of their friends, are not zombies. And what they're trying to do is they're trying to fight and they're trying to survive. You know what I mean? And these two movies are absolutely awesome. If you ever haven't seen them yet, you need to check them out. They are two great classic movies. 
And of course, the movie that started everything. You know what I mean? Like, if it wasn't for this movie, you wouldn't, we wouldn't have movies like, you know, like, Knocked Up and, um... And all those, and all those, um, and all those movies like Knocked Up and all those Seth Rogen movies. But the movie that started it all, and here it is, The Forty Year Old Virgin, one of my favorite movies of all time, and I have it on Blu-ray. This is also another. Uh, this is also a movie when I first saw, like I was, I was floored, and I just absolutely love it. And here it is, Zombie Land. It stars Woody Harrelson. And, uh, Jesse, how do you say his last name? Sorry. Jesse, Eisen, Jesse Eisenberg, you know, like the dude that played, uh, Mike Z Mark Zuckerberg in, so in the social network. And, um, and, be and this is awesome. You know, like another zombie movie where, where the entire planet was, is plagued with this zombie virus and pretty much everyone has turned into zombies everyone except for except for the four of them and once again it's a movie of survival and this movie is awesome i love it so much and an animated movie one of my favorite animated movies despicable me you know what despicable me is this awesome it has the voice of Steve Car Steve Carell, you know, from the Forty Year Old Virgin, who plays this guy over here. His name is Gru. This he's basically like um, he's basically like this bad dude, and um, and and what he wants to do is he wants to do something big with his life, and the one big thing that he wants to do and he's planning on doing is that he wants to steal the moon. You know, literally, literally the moon. And uh, what he finds is that he finds that he has this other dude who's like ten times, who's, who's like a bigger crook than him and has achieved like bigger things than he has. And it's like a competition. You know what I mean? And uh, this is this is a great movie. I love it. It's, it's so hilarious. The one thing that pisses me off about this Blu-ray over here is... um. You know how you have now like the digital copies where you buy like these uh, these Blu-rays or these DVDs that have the digital copies where you take the disc and you load it into your computer and then it, it saves it on your hard drive. Well, usually when you get like these blue, these uh, these digital copies over here, you get like um, this, this, uh, this card over here and what you have to do when you load it into your computer is that you have to type in this code type in this code and after the code is typed in properly it saves it into your hard drive and so you can like what you can do after that is that you can play this on your iPod on your iPhone or or whatever media player that you have I bought this movie used and when I and when I found out when I took it home and I found out it didn't have the it did not have the fucking card so unfortunately I can't play this movie on my on my iPhone and it it, it sucks because I really love this movie I got the Watchmen this movie is absolutely awesome in my opinion if you have ever seen this movie before in my opinion this movie happens to have one of the best movie intros I have ever seen in my life it is incredible you know the Watchmen. this movie is a classic you know it's three hours long but you know what those three hours are worth it because this movie is just absolutely awesome Another one of my favorites. This movie was actually when it came out in theaters, like it it wasn't like a box office smash, but it was like it was like f critics loved it, but the the when it came to when it was in the theaters, like it didn't do very well, and it is kick ass. This movie is awesome, a superhero movie. You know it is. Oh my god, this movie's just absolutely. 
it's well made. It's just really good. And, and I have it. This is actually the first Blu-ray that I bought um, when I bought my Blu-ray when I bought my Blu-ray player. This is the first one I bought. And it's it's just it's a great movie. Okay? And of course, I have to have this movie because this is my this is like my favorite my favorite one of my favorite movies of all time and that is The Hangover. This movie like come on like you can't say much about it. Just absolute classic movie. And then the last DVD, sorry, the DVD, the last Blu-ray that I have is, of course, Jackass 3, you know, and uh, actually this, this is, this is pretty cool because, um, when you open it up, it actually comes with these really cool 3D glasses. I haven't even opened, I haven't even opened them yet. And I've had this Blu-ray for quite a while. I can't believe I'm doing this. I'm actually opening this up. Oh, so it comes with it comes with four of them over here, and um, and obviously they're those cheap ass cardboard 3D glasses. So you put them on like this. These are not comfortable whatsoever. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's actually it's actually funny because when I went to go see this movie at the in the theaters, and they gave us the, our three D glasses, they did not have like these cheap cardboard ones. They had like really good actual glasses type glasses type um. Glasses type uh, 3D glasses, kind of like these ones over here. They they look just like these ones over here, but these glasses over here aren't 3D. And um, and actually, the reason why they give you these 3D glasses is that if you have like one of those um, one of those 3D flat screens, you can actually watch this movie in 3D. But you know what? If you've seen this movie or if you've seen Jackass 3 already. Obviously, you might know that not the whole the whole movie is not all in three D. Okay, like the only two the only two parts the two major parts of the movie that are in three D is the intro of the movie and the outro of the movie, like the beginning of the movie where they do like that really awesome intro and also at the end. You know what I mean? And uh, there's also a, a couple of small scenes in in the movie that they've done in 3D, but other than that, you know, like it, not all of it was in 3D. So if you have like, you know, like the the through that one of those 3D flat screens, you can watch it. You can watch it in 3D. You know, me personally, I don't have one of those TD TVs. I never have. I never have, and I probably never will. You know what I mean? Because I think that those those TVs are like overpriced and a waste of money, you know what I mean. And, and as far as when it comes to 3D, when three what 3D is concerned, I really don't give a shit about 3D. All right. So there it is. That's my Blu-ray um collection. It is slowly growing. Okay. I'm Benji Pistone. If you like what you saw, comment down below or subscribe to my channel. All right. Take care, ladies and gentlemen.